Hi, it's Dr. I here, and in this video we are going to calibrate a YSI pH um, and EC meter. So it does pH and it also does the electrical conductivity and salinity. And we are first going to just do the pH meter though. So I have here, this is my um, pH buffer pH 7 solution. So from this bottle, pH 7 bottle, and it, this is the one I'm going to, I'm going to use. I'm going to pretend that I already used this for calibrating once before and I just saved it out so that I can use it for rinsing. So this is my rinse bottle. I'm going to put some new solution in this container and this will be my my real measuring bottle. Hopefully I have enough in there. All right. And I already I already turned on and calibrated my pH meter. All right. So I don't have a squirt bottle with me. I left that in the lab. And so I just rinsed it with some DI water. I do have some DI water here. And so I rinsed and now I am drying it off with a Kim wipe. And I'm going to stick this into the rinse container and putting it in there. And you can see on the screen, it's going up. Looks like it's going to be close little over seven. So if I were doing this out in the field for a standard check, I would just do this. And if it was around seven, then I wouldn't do anything. I would just write down the value. But since we're doing a calibration here, um, we will write, we will wait for it to stabilize. So it's looking like it's stabilizing. It's kind of going around between right around 7.3. So I'm going to take it out and I'm going to put it in the other solution. And I gotta make sure that, oops, I'm gonna fill this up a little more because it needs to cover the, I'll show you on the probe. It needs to cover this part, which is the temperature probe. So we need to make sure that the temperature probe is down in there nicely. And I'm gonna try and wiggle that just a little bit and then wait for it to stabilize again. In the new solution, now it's saying about 7.26. Oh wait, back up to 7.3. Fluctuating a little more. So once it settles down, so now it's settling around 7.27, 7.28, I'm going to Put it down here and I'm going to press Cal. And right now it's set for conductivity. So I'm going to go up to pH, press, oh, did that work? Yeah. And I'm going to do a one point calibration in the interest of time. And because I didn't have the all of my calibration jars. And so it is saying first calibration point 7.02 and I'm going to say enter. And it says calibration successful. So we're ready to go. So now when we're reading it, it's reading right around 7.0, 7.01, and looks good. So we're good to go with this pH meter. See you in the next video.